Like that. The combo that yeah. they had. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, and I mean, it did feel like both Hyde and Jug were problems for them last remaining. game, so I yeah. like this. I think we don't see enough adaptations from teams in drafts. Like, that it's like, yeah, those two heroes are strong, they look good, get rid of them, see you later. Um, you know? I mean, I, I agree with you, but in this case, I don't agree. I don't think these heroes are worth banning. I think you can just easily just play it a bit differently in the lane or and in like these fights like this. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, you know, um, just take them off that hero and Five show, make them show something else, right? So that they, um, yeah, yeah, they are forced, you know, maybe onto something they're a little bit less comfortable on or anything mm -hmm. like that. Um. And uh, true to Corbin's word in the lobby, I think uh, I think the the bands might be the same for our take, but they no, it was steal just kind of memeing, I thought. Yeah, me too. But uh, no, maybe not. They steal away the snapfire <laughs> for Charizard though, so that one's theirs now. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. So Teg already gonna have to change it up. I wonder if. Uh, they might just take the CM again. That looked uh, really good for them last game. CM went wild in the early game, so... Yeah, um, CM's always one of those heroes that are pretty decent in lane, and um, that mana regen, always great great for your um, your cores as well. Just your whole team, yeah. actually. It's Your, your team always here. loves you when you're playing CM, right? See, that's, that's one of those... I think that's one of those heroes that you, you don't ban that hero either, because why the hell would you ban a CM, but you just pick it instead? Crystal Maiden. Yeah, and take go for it again. So yeah, they'll go for that. it again. Cool. Charizard will steal the Snapfire, so that's good. That's another one of those heroes that I think you just steal it. Um, so we got a CM. Ten seconds. And you'd be interested. It take last time in this pick they picked the Tide Hunter, so they're already going to have to change it up. Five seconds. Interesting mm. to see if they go for their off laner again here, though. Radiant team pick. Axe. And they do, they pick Axe. Okay. Axe CM, that's, that's, that's a pretty early. crazy lane, man. That's hard to play into. That's yeah. really hard to play into. You think that's gonna be the lane though? They played Pods 5 CM last game, so I think. Oh yeah, you're right. They're probably but I, I think they should throw the CM with this axe. Remaining. Yeah, there's, there's no there's honestly no reason that you can't uh, like have a hero play pods five in the off lane. Like absolutely none. Like mm. Um, you just need a, a bit more of a self-sufficient carry, and that's why it's generally done that way, because all flamers are typically more self-sufficient, but if they can make it work with their carry pick. Doctor's a good answer for the axe, you know? Yeah, Maledict really is a problem. Maledict is a, uh, a very, very big problem. For for axe in particular, right? He doesn't... Mm. Doesn't really deal well with, uh, with Maledict. Yeah. So... And obviously, it wants to be Five in the middle of the creeps too, so you get quite a lot of cast bounces, typically. Yeah. Maybe gonna change Ten up the bands a bit, they seem to be talking amongst themselves. Hmm. Radiant team back. Nope, same band still from Mark Take. They haven't, they haven't changed it at all. I think, uh, again, showing that uh, researching your teams is doing a lot for people in this tournament, right? Yeah. Because it's Charizard... a Nigma ban as well. Yeah. And a whack. Yeah, I'm not, not sure about that one. Maybe they just don't want to play against it. But um, maybe it's a, a Corbin special. I didn't actually peek anyone's Dota buff. But yeah, I think Teg, they clearly looked at the games last week because Charizard won two games with Bloodseeker last week, so mm. get rid of that, and uh, I think Riz played Husk last week as well, so, and if uh, if my Spidey sense is correct, they're going to ban Batrider next, which Riz also played last week, so. You gotta remember that Batrider game, brutal. Oh, yeah, he, he looked really good on the Batrider. Whilst, uh, whilst we're here, we totally forgot to mention it, what happened with the production last night? <laughs> uh, I had to fly the entire crew, man. Let me tell you. Oh, right. who's the crew? Wegs? No, no, no. Oh. It's, uh, 
I uh, I got the the people from the Shanghai Major, and I, I saw it on the resume, and I was like, oh, it'll be fine. They've learned their lessons, but uh, apparently they did not. Um, anyway, it all culminated in about ten minutes of uh, I saw a casted, so that was okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, culminated in about ten minutes of post game interview where nobody could hear Discord. They could hear me talking, obviously, but they couldn't hear Discord. Hmm. So, um, yeah, I just talked to myself for quite a bit, so. Damn. Uh, yeah. Awkward. Yeah, production. Could you have just uh, called them, like, separately? And brought them into uh, a chat? No, 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 it was, it was in a group chat, so, like, uh, I have my, like, audio set up, like, through Five a virtual sound driver so that I can, like, adjust the sounds as I go for, like, my headphones. Yeah. But that, like, really Five ruins it for streaming because, um... Like, unless whatever the app is is run through the sound driver, then the stream does or doesn't hear it, you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, yeah, it's funky, yeah, and you have to take a lot of time and care to set it up. And, uh, hmm. yeah, production really shafted me, you know? It's all production's fault. Unbelievable. I mean, if it yeah. went well, it was going to be all me, but Radiant since it didn't, ah, right, it's right. Well. Kira? All right. so I know. That's sort of I the like lane Kira. up against the axe, and you know what's cool about that? I actually, you know what's really cool about this combo? If you do it with Axe, you get Axe to max his W. Jakura from a range can also slow. This Witch Doctor will probably be bullied our lane. And Ten or seconds, whatever remaining. core they pick will be kind of like bullied out without having to commit their bodies to it, you know? Five yeah, I, was I think gonna that's say, really that's, good. Yeah, that's the exact thing I like about it too. It's, it's a lane bully, but it's the one who likes to stand far away. So he's not going to, um, you know, have potential problems with the cask and, you know, screwing over his own teammates. So yeah, I really like the Jakura pick. That's that's nice yeah it's, it's absolutely um, yeah it's it's fine it's really good and it's a long range stun against if you think about it snapfire witch doctor they're all you yeah. stand still for a while so perfect yep. pick here i actually Radiant really the, we're Three probably not going to notice warrior. it that much but this pick will show i think this hero will like shine in like the nichest little ways without us knowing so much faceless void um pretty cool combo i guess with snapfire cookie uh snapfire sorry mortimer's kisses as well uh, decent hero against Takira Crystal. These guys are just going to get melted in, in a Chronosphere solo. Um, so yeah, I think it's fine to pick your, your win condition now. They follow up with a uh, Night Stalker. Also really good against these two supports too. Yeah, it's looking like a much rougher game for the supports from Teg, right? So yeah, I'm yeah. Not going to enjoy playing against Night Stalker at all. And, uh... They need yeah, a way to reset said... on Teg, right? They need a way to reset or disengage or some sort. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, it's, it's How do tough you pick though, that? Right? Yeah, yeah, because normally you'd have them Five that from your offline. Off you'd your go Centaur forward. or something now, you know? Yeah, yeah, but now they've they're left with carry and mid, and what mid heroes do you really have that that offer that? I wouldn't mind. Maybe oh, it's it's a bit rough. It's a bit much, but like the only reset you could probably do in this way is um. You go Dusa or something. Yeah, I was gonna or say Naga. Naga. <laughs> Wraith. Alright, Wraith. Wraith's um, okay. I guess that's somewhat You're... of a reset, right? You kill him once, it slows everyone around, and you, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't doesn't mind getting chronoed as well, so he can stand up front. And I think when you're playing offlaners like Axe, even though you are, you know, quote the seconds. like initiation and you start the fights, it's always nice to have a hero like Five standing there remaining. that can force yeah. the other heroes to do things that they wouldn't normally do. You know, maybe they run up to throw a spell on Wraith King and suddenly Axe can find a three-man call, so... Yeah, I, I, I like the Wraith King, I think it's... You have to play it a certain way, though, man. You need Blink this yeah. game on Wraith King. Otherwise, you are just going to get out. They're just going to run away from you. There's no... Yeah. Like, you've got the slows, I guess, from your CM and Jakiro, but... I don't know, Cookie... One, if not both of them, are getting a, either a Four Staff or a Glimmer as well. I think he needs Blink this game on Wraith King. Yeah, I feel like uh, so far the game's gonna come down to whoever starts the fight will win the fight. Right? If Night Stalker gets in and he's beaten on his CM, then uh, the fight's probably already over. And, you know, alternatively... Axe can't save. Team. Yeah, Axe can't... That's one actual niche little point you made. Axe can't save his supports. He can't blink in and call. No, and, you know, if Night Stalker's running around with the silence, like, there's no way that's Axe... What, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, there. he's yeah. not gonna be able to get it. So... Yeah, so so yeah, I think I think definitely remaining. the need for aggression is pretty paramount mm. for both teams here. If one team just casts their abilities first, I think they might just win the fight. 
this Wraith King pick. I understand it because it's like, okay, why do you want to Chrono a Wraith King? Why do you want to, you know, do all these things to a Wraith King? But I just see Charizard ignoring him this game and I feel like killing I feel everyone like around him. I feel like struggle in the lane too, to be honest. Um, okay. Him and CM versus Five Night Stalker and... Snapfire? I don't think that's I... too bad. Yeah, I think uh, I think as soon as it hits nighttime, you might struggle to stand in the lane. Oh yeah, that's, that's kind of naturally what happens if you're a melee core against Night. Yeah, I think, exactly. I think he might just get the uh, um, get punched. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like Charizard's lineup more, man. I mean, this Axe and Jakiro, these picks are niche as heck, and I, I like this Jakiro pick for the lane. Um, with the Axe, I think it's going to be really rough for Faceless Void because Faceless Void. It's just going to be ticking damage. He hates ticking damage because he can't really time walk it off. So, but I just, I hope this Wraith King can get enough to uh, get that Blink Dagger and get these pickoffs. Yeah, it really feels like it's going to be a game of the off lanes, right? Like, Teg's off lane will be dominant and then so will uh, Charizard's off lane as well. Mm. It's about whichever off lane, uh, you know, has that more explosive entry into the game, I guess. Yeah, Ten however, um, I do know that like, if this Chrono's down, they can gather behind Axe and Wraith King and take towers, so I'm pretty sure. They just get like, uh, they've got their two supports, you know. You know, not necessarily, they're not going to clump up next to them. It's yeah, well, even, uh, even with Chrono down right now, it's like it's always going to be a threat to your supports, and they kind of, again, have that same sort of, uh, dynamic on Charizard, where... Faceless Void, even though he, you know, likes to start fights with Chronos, if he's got Nice Looker in there running around making moves, um, it potentially gives Void the opportunity to find a two or three man Chrono where they ordinarily wouldn't have mm. grouped up, but they're looking to cast abilities on Night Stalker or whatever, so they are less careful about their positioning. And I, uh, I think so far I have to have to agree with you. I think Charizard might have Five the uh, the favor drop here. Hmm. They potentially might just run away with it here. I really like that puck last pick. It feels like another great puck game. Yeah. Um, the the only threat you have so far is Blink Call, right? Like, actually um, I think yeah. The two things Puck needs to worry about is getting Blink called on and a Frost uh, Frost, whatever the stun is called, as he's uh, yeah, shifting because yeah. he can't get out of that. He's going to shift into it. You uh, can. Uh, the ice path that you're talking about from Jakiro? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can, you can blink, um, as long as you blink the direction you're facing. If you phase shift and then blink, you blink out of ice path, you don't get stung. Pretty oh, sure. Right. Pretty sure. Uh, you just have to blink the direction that you're facing. Hmm. So you don't, I mean, is, you don't try I mean he, anything. you are, like, if it's already laid down though, after the shift, shifted. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you blink out of it. Oh, cool. I'm about 4% sure, so, you know, <laughs> make of that what you will, but yeah, and if we see it this game um, or not will be a, a different sort. Yeah. The thing that sucks is you can't pick a later game hero because Wraith King needs farm. Like, you need Wraith King to farm. Um, yeah, I agree, it's got to be me. I, yeah, DP, alright, that's a great pick, fine. I think. I think this that's, is fine. I think that's a really good DP pick. I think that, yeah, the only thing I don't like about takes is this Wraith King. I think there's a better I think there's better answers. I think there's better heroes, but see how it goes. They will have to kill him twice later on. It's all about if he can get the jump onto these supports here and uh right click them down. Uh hmm. I still uh I still really feel like it's gonna be whatever team takes the initiative in the fight and starts it off. And I kind of lean towards Charizard just having more options to do that. So I think, uh, I think I'm liking Charizard a little bit more here. I wonder what Axe is going to build. Yeah, it's um... Hmm. Be... I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's, it's going to be... I think, gonna, I, I, think I like Tegs. I don't know. I think I like Tegs slightly, slightly more. I think this Night Stalker, um, like, I wonder if he's going to know that he needs BKB. Like, I think he's going to think, oh, they've got a few slows. I should be okay, though. But I reckon he needs BKB really early. Like, earlier than you than usual. So, like, maybe not even blink. You go, like, 
one item, whatever, either Echo Saber or Armor, and then you just get BKB first. Uh, I'm gonna go for take here. I want I want something to I want it to be a one all. Yeah, well that was uh, that was something else that uh, I was talking about last night. Is there have been a lot of one alls in uh, in the minor yeah. so far? Prepare like the vast the majority of matches have it's been good to see. Like a, I think yeah, I think there was like maybe two two zeros in week one, and then what every other game has been so uh, has been a one one. So it's uh, very yeah, very very close to one one, which is which is always nice. Hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, Wraith King, pretty interesting hero to pick. We don't really see it often, but let's see how he goes. Um, I'll help sure. my weak and puny allies where I can. Maybe you just want to show off his cosmetics, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this man's Wraith King cosmetics. He's looking pretty crazy. This. <laughs> What's uh oh Smoke they're actually up? smoking up. Yeah, yeah that's so we saw this from a team uh, I mean, last got, night too. They've got two slows on their supports, you know, three including or well, the axe as well as the third one. Like they've got ways of this is certainly a lineup that you get first blood with for sure. So why not? Not so much on the uh, Charizard squad, but they're gonna position themselves pretty smartly here as smoke will break and Cookie is available. She's gonna try to get herself in a nice position, which she does. The slows, I'm not sure if they have enough to actually take her out. The battle no, everything else is ticked off except the battle hunger. So, oh, what? a lot of burst damage there though. Can you cure her? fairy fire, he can't die. Yeah, yeah. he's not gonna die. But he's right. gonna, he's actually gonna run back to base, I think. Yeah, and then I, join I think the lane. run That's back fine. to base and PP up, sure. I mean, you're, you're kind of happy with that. Like, Jakiro used a lot of mana there and this hero does hurt for mana early in the lane, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's so strange. I very rarely ever see people like run up into the triangle like that for the banner and contest, and then mm. it happened last night too. So definitely uh, just looking for first blood, which is you know maybe catch a hero off guard or something. Yeah. So it's a nice nice try by them. Mm. What the hell will go? I'm thinking this should be pretty strong, this battle hunger dual breath combo that they have. Yeah. So we'll see it work down here. And Void should have kind of a rough lane, I think. I'm not sure if Wish Doctor can really help. They should just be yeah, using I mean... him constantly. Yeah, you can definitely yeah, see uh, opportunistic stuff, but Wish Doctor can't trade Doctor, like this. Oh. Yeah, or they'll, or they'll, yeah, they'll go for the other option is to throw it on the Doctor. And look at this Doctor, he... He's like, all right, well, he's already out of regen. Did he not bring? He yeah. got boots first. That's a, I think that's a big mistake. Yeah, he's, he's not going to be level two. To They're going to get like level two and a half or something. Might be speaking a bit too much there, but I mean, they're at least going to be level two before him. I mean, Void is getting like oh, instant D ward. Here, yeah, that's true. But this doctor just out of this lane forever, and Jakiro level two now. Axe, feeling confident too. Yeah, and I mean the important thing too is that Jakiro has the Sentry Ward down to block the small camp, mm. so there's no opportunity and for pulls to Doctor, recover. Doctor, man, lane. if any if any support needs levels, it's it's the Doctor in in lane. You know, he needs that Maledict and cast bounces, but he's still, you know, Jakiro now level two and a half, not getting a pull off because of the block there on the wave, but. They're actually just running past and they're gonna hit the wave here. This is pretty clever. I like this. It's forcing Witch Doctor out still. And then he's just stealing this wave completely. Yeah, and then Jakira goes and slows yep. Void's attack speed yep. while he's farming on the tower. Can't time walk it off. Very nice, very nice. He uses one cask. He's trying to linger around so he can get level two. It gets level two finally, but man, yeah, a lot out of him to do that. Yeah, that. It feels rough already. Like a minute into the <laughs> a minute into the lane. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm vibing this axe. So I reckon he's gonna do well. It's a yeah, really good start to the lane. As here we go. Oh no. Oh, you've oh, done well, it. Well, oh, he I actually can't. went a bit too far forward now. All right. 
as he the creeps were quite low so oh man yeah really rough situation. i mean this is how the, the witch doctor hero works right you just find that opportune moment to cast yeah. everything void in a lot of trouble yeah, he's gonna tick down, down a bit attack. he the actually he's was... not gonna no he's not gonna die yeah the cask actually stopped uh stopped an attack that was like the animation was starting on i think that might have made the difference there that have been uh very very close if that didn't happen but... dp pretty confidently uh out last hitting this puck i think that's to be expected though yeah. not lane. getting a kill not many kills awesome. happening but oh nice use of the cookie there just trading blows back and forth uh night stalker uh, kind of getting the better of uh this lane here with the last hits at least radiance middle tower is under attack all right i think there was an honest mistake uh on on axe's part a bit overzealous there yeah it's um, not not a disaster for him not to get this void kill though right like he's stuck in the lane with no regen his yeah. his regen's only just now starting to fly out towards him so even though he gets that mm. kill like it doesn't it still doesn't change the dynamic of the lane right like he's still stuck yeah. under his tower he's still low health like getting bullied out by the jakiro speaking of jakiro oh, he just can't find this ward here He's gonna spend a few hundred, uh, hundred gold at least getting it. This is why you always put it just in the middle of the camp, and then you can deny it anyway, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Dual breath. Not gonna use it yet. No, yeah, just hold on to it, I guess. But this is why, yeah, if not... you put, if you put the, it just in the middle of the camp, you just, yeah, guarantee you're gonna get it every time. Yeah, and there's, there's no value. In, there's no value you in keeping it sentry up as well. Yeah. Wraith King quite tanky. Gets his skelly boys out. He's got a pretty big wand charge, actually. This is a really good bait from Dyer, as the Night Stalker now regretting his first night out in this. Dem has spells. Yeah. The stick. The stick. Oh, it's just too slow. This creep getting a little bit more vision, and he should be okay to run out of here. Unless he runs right into the CM, and there's the root, and another kill there. So. They uh they thought they were strong on uh on radiant, but this uh Wraithing had a fourteen charged uh, wand up, so yeah, and a fairy fire at the same time. He just gained so much health back, right? Yeah. He went back to like half health. Yep. And oh, yeah. running over under tower here. Two levels in maledict, but Axe doesn't seem too bothered. Cut the wave now. He's gotta be careful how much he uh he sticks around though. He's uh, playing like a Chad. Yeah, we're stuck to getting a couple of denies on that wave yeah. though. Like that's that's something. And boy's just gonna be harassed under his down, man. To, right. Poor guy. I think Radiant know they need to go for this CM. They can't really kill this Wraith King. So here's the stun CM trying to run away. Cookie to follow up as well. She's got one level in Crystal Nova, but she's not even gonna. You need to use it because she knew she was dead there. Yeah, and I think Wraithing has to be careful here now too. There's a huge wave under his tail. Oh yeah, he is getting dove now. Minus Did armor he... as well to collaborate with that Night Stalker attack speed. TP in from the Prophet. She doesn't have any spells though. Does actually have one Spirit Siphon. Cookie to try to break that Siphon. Does manage to connect. Another rotation from CM. Can she get some vision for the then? No. Nope. Almost got enough for that Frostbite as well. Um, yeah. I mean, this is pretty good for Puck with... um. You know, you're losing the lane, so you, you force rotations there. He manages to get a full creep wave alone. They're looking for Nobody dies. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a that's a really feels bad rotation. From oh, this right. might be a really good maledict here. Oh, no, he's gonna opt out of it. You deserve nothing. He's got a vanguard now. You can't kill this axe. Yeah, you need, oh, nice you need like a. And turn it around. Another one charge. The tower hits as well. Wraith King. Helping out his buddy, but Cookie. Back and forth here in this top lane. Damn. Oh, this. Very fire. Juice is not too. Yeah, and Riz uh, having a salad is, uh, is a good play by him too, but. Uh, like, just being ready to, to continue going. And Wraith King forced back into the jungle now. Oh, there's a maledict used, but it's only used on the Jakira as he just runs away. Yeah, this is a good time for them. Just, this is a good time for them to turn around. So he hasn't actually leveled um, many more in Battle Hunger. Oh, Wraith King got solo. Well, not solo. Sorry, got ran down. 
A few tips and a few dances on the dead body here. I don't know about Axe um, not getting any more levels in Battle Hunger. I think that was his strongest thing. There's a level six void, gets stunned though. Puck rotation in, has the dream call still, only manages to get one though. Void thinking if he can get an ulti off on somebody, he will just try to get the kill on the Kiro. As Maledict does land onto the Axe. This is a good chrono, but I don't know if you've got any backup damage. He might have to use it defensively and he will. As a uh, <laughs> doctor then ticks down as well. Yeah, poor Witch Doctor just died to uh, mm. died to Battle Hunger. It feels bad. Yeah, uh, with Axe not leveling, I think it's based on the way that he's playing, right? Like he's, instead of contesting the lane, he's kind of cutting the lane and pulling the creeps, which wants spin pulls. So yeah. It's, yeah, True. just a choice. I was surprised Raking died to It looked like he recognized that he couldn't stay in the lane. Radiant and then like left the lane and then fortified. yeah somehow ended up back in the lane and died so oh man okay we've got a mask on the void now but he's got no this sucks though because if you have to use your chrono defensively that fresh mask obviously you're going to use it to farm but you, you love to use it to get a kill on your first chrono usually yeah well this is what kind of feels bad about void right is you can't real well you can't chrono him but you don't want to chrono axe and hit axe because he's going to spin and hit you anyway right so it's yeah. not like it doesn't feel like great to just chrono him like you might just die in it anyway so he's got to got to find a rotation onto you know another hero uh -oh. that that chrono as well. maledict time uh, he's under tower he's got a vanguard and he's got the seeds as well he is not scared at all in fact he's going to run right at this doctor force him to pop his voodoo restoration but that's all a lot of spin damage there. One more spin damage. Can he get the dunk off on him? He jukes him out a little bit. Meanwhile, top, there's a fight happening as the CM goes down. Jakiro gets right clicked down by the Night Stalker. Snapfire forced to use her ulti as well. There is another life on Wraith King. Meanwhile, bottom shenanigans still happening as nice call from Axe onto two heroes and a dunk onto one. Can he get a dunk onto another? Dunk onto another. Use the seeds, the seeds. Oh, he's going to run it. Yeah, he's going to make it out in time. Uh, top, <laughs> Raking came back, but he's slowly going to go down again as Puck is rotated in. And now, Jakiro, CM. CM quite low here. Prophet as well, joining the fray. Puck should be able to get out of this shenanigan. But the slow... Oh, no. Yeah, he didn't get off to the high ground there. He's so low. Does, he's can up. jump down it. Does jump down. Good use of your... Uh, good use of your spells there. Yeah, and he, he's out, and Damn. I think a pretty decisive win in the top lane for uh, for Riz there. <laughs> I think they killed like three heroes, and they all respawned and came back to try and uh, try and continue the fight. Yeah. But I mean, Axe just going huge. Yeah, Axe is getting pretty big. Well. Oh, Night Stalker! Not night time anymore. They block off the path with that wall of fire, and he eventually goes down. But this is a nice. Uh, Nice cask here. Only Maledict onto one, so that Jakira will certainly go down. Axe with a call, and the puck went aggressively, so he's gonna go down. So not, not too worth it. Axe has got battle hunger. He's chasing Yeah, he here. is chasing as well. He is not scared. Chronosphere hits no one as a big whiff from the void. And he, now, I'm not sure if they can kill this, this Axe. He's just gonna run at them naked like. <laughs> Yeah, no, they recognize it too. Everybody's like, oh, she should, uh, we can't actually do anything about Axe. She Everyone should ulti. Out. This DP should ulti for this mid tower. They should really just push now. They've got no chrono. They'd need to pick a tower and go for it. She maybe doesn't want to ult for this tower, but I think she should either, either port, maybe port top for the top one, or they should definitely gather up with this uh, exorcism and use it since there's no chronosphere. They can't defend the tower. Yeah, and being daytime as well, right? Like you, yeah, daytime you know as that... well. This is the time to build. But I mean, some people, I'm not sure. Some people are a little bit nervous about committing their DP ulti for the pushes, but I think it's certainly worth it in this stage. Yeah, bottom, I mean, that's, the strength of it is not necessarily killing the tower. It's opening up the map, right? If you yep. take away the tier one, that's one less spot for people to TP into oh, no. and stop this axe from Doctor's not even level. He wants. Doctor's not even level 6, so he can't even really threaten with his ult. They do, Boy, do the deny night. the tower, but is that going to... Yeah, that's going to cost him his life for sure. And he's kind of running them off a little bit. Snapfire trying to help her out. He goes down. Axe Maledict with a few few ticks on it. He might go down after this, but DP's nice. joined the fight as well. Takes the Witch Doctor. Her ulti has been committed. Jakiro, Snapfire trying to jump away. Repositions, wand. But probably going to go down here. And, uh, Axe didn't even go down. He's stuck around. He's feeling yeah, good. Yeah, no. 
yeah, live, live with uh, just the ulti the from the DP thing. will go out, but I mean, a few of these spirits will hit. But I think, I don't know, I really think you should have got the middle tower. This middle tower's value is. Yeah, they're worth it. For it. Dyer's middle tower yeah, under I mean, all top. They have the second blip if they want to. Oh, the, the DP ulti's out anyway, but. Double damage on this DP, so. It's hitting. The chronosphere up, not for another 30 seconds. They're thinking about sticking around for the push, but Radiant are uh, looking like they want to take a fight here. Yeah, Riz wants despite, this for sure. Yeah, despite not having, um, despite not having Chrono, I mean, it's going to be up in like 20. Yeah, I mean, you you do know that there's no DP ulti as well, this, right? So I they're, think they're, they're relying on this fight lasting a little bit longer. But they'll they'll push them out. Wraithing first item, Radiance. Uh, obviously, you got the uh, Relic first. Yeah, how's the net worth looking? Got... I'm actually surprised to see Axe. Yeah, I'm surprised to see Axe not top of the uh, top of the charts. I mean, there. don't That's think what... DP's died, right? Yeah, yeah DP's. She's got really a awesome. lot of damn farm, actually. She's got the boots already yeah. made up, a Falcon Blade, one piece of the BKB. Yeah, she's doing really well. And Finds the arcane rune if they hold that for the next ulti Ooh, as well. Smoke as, up. You know, Puck already used his one one of his escape. It's a blink uh, axe. Nice blink as well. Can the cast get there in time to help out? Maledict ulti. Axe might pay with his life here, but he's gonna run in anyway. Or well, he runs past at least as Axe goes down. It's a two for one. Fire used DP running forward, still holding onto this uh, bottled arcane. Does use it now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's that's fine though, right? It's uh, it's okay to use it there if he just hits exorcism as soon as it comes up It'll still be active. So yeah, he can uh, he can have it and I think they might do that I want them to do that. Yeah, that we need to see this yeah. more often where they just commit the ulti to get this um get This tower, top tower is under yep. So no it's levels in no levels in crippling fear on night stalker Time is Okay, he's quite yes. speedy not the hero to really Use the siphon on Puck. Nice ulti onto three of them. And now he actually just levels to Crippling Fear. And all three of these heroes get stunned, I think, from that Puck ulti as DP ulti as well. Nice save, but the save's not enough as the Chrono comes in as well. Axe jumping in, trying to salvage anything from this fight. Chronosphere, not enough to take out the DP. As oh, Void Blue goes down. To the ghost. Yeah, yeah, he dies to the ghosts. And Puck trying to reposition, get out of there, but those ghosts will catch up to him. Axe getting bullied a little bit. Maledict, fresh Maledict. Ulti as well. He can't survive that. DP comes in, silences too. Got to run away from these ghosts now as they destroy completely. Eat the doctor up. I wanted to stick around and hopefully get this tower with her, but she's going to go forward aggressively and try to get. Oh, they're going back to her now. Yeah. Souls. Siphon. Wraith King joining here as well. Going to commit his little children to the push. I like this. Oh yeah, there's a Wraith King in the game. I forgot about you. Oh, poor Void, man. He ulted DP and yeah. uh, Master Madness and started hitting him, but the armor reduction from yeah. the mask, he just died to the, the ghost. The ghost just completely ate it. And I love this. I love this from Wraith King, right? So he, there's no, no ulti from Void. He'll just commit his children to the push as well. Hit the tower a few times. And I mean, ideally, he'd probably want to back now, but he's feeling pretty good with another life, you know, under his uh, under his belt too, they could actually potentially get this tower. I think they're making their decision now. No, that's fine. They get one tower, a lot of damage to the other. He'll go back to farming. Thousand yeah, gold. dealing dealing two thousand damage to the tier two. You're very very happy with that, you know. Yeah. Exo is on cooldown, but so is Chrono. Um, and I think uh, Riz. Um, it's a cooldown on um the Night Silver ulti is going to be really important in this game as well. Yeah, we saw, uh, you know, a bit of a glimpse of hope there with the the coil into the Night Stalker. Like that looks really, really good mm. for them. And oh. Act, uh, so Wraith King's actually ported bottom to contest this push from Void. Left teammates. I really like how these Max is vampires. Like he's he's maxed his children up. Um, not so. I don't think he's been using it to farm most of the way. Uh, creeps and stuff in the camps, but he just comes in, uses it in both lanes, runs off. He's farming again. Rinse, repeat. It's really good. That extra pushes. Yes, but yeah. The real like strength of this raking hero, I think, is the the change to skeletons that they did a while back, and you you kind of get this like pseudo illusion carry where your mm. skeletons just uh, run off. And oh, nice ulti really from good. CM and ulti, and they're holding the puck down. The CM hasn't died yet. Puck really low, but that's a nice cast, a nice ulti, and a nice 
Oh no, no maledict on the axe. They almost killed that puck. Actually, she's ticking down still. Nah, no, she'll be alright. That was really Rizzo's close. More. Yeah, he does want more. Runs for Jakira in a bit of trouble. No four stuff yet on him. Axe. Can't really help out. He holds the seeds there. Okay, waits for it to go down, but it's not fast enough. And now, unfortunately, trying to save his buddy there. That's a that's a death you didn't need, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, no, you just get out there for sure. You see the strength of Night Stalker. If he finds the right opportunity, he just goes in and beats down one of his supports. Yeah, he'll have a blink dagger coming up soon. Yeah, and we see once again Riz is uh, you know, trending towards the top of the net worth in the game, and that's gonna be a rough game for CM and Jukira for the rest of the game mm. if Night Stalker is massive, so. Fresh BKB on the DP though. Wow, ah, she's got BKB already? That's so quick. Yeah. On top of uh, travel boots. And a Falcon Blade. Yeah. And pretty good. Once you have once you have BKB, the only thing that threatens you is Krona, right? So. Hmm. If you just BKB and run in, what are they going to do there? Which, if your exit, well, as of now, if you're if he's using his ulti, that minus armor from the Master Manus Void might not want to ulti this DP. Yeah, exactly. Whilst it's no, going so. off. I don't think you do. Uh, you know, I think he should have hit Jakira and backed off, but he just maybe just crept up on him a bit too much. That damage. Yeah. Yeah. This well, CM and this uh, this CM and Jakira are easy pickings for your ulti on uh, Void. Yeah, well, I mean, the the problem is it kind of feels like without the Maledict, they're the only heroes they can kill, right? Like, yeah. even, like, Riz is like, yeah, I want to kill one of the sports. Oh. Speaking of Riz... It's called up by the Axe, and the uh, the stuns are there for this Night Stalker. He's trying to port out, and he might get it, but that Axe dunks him down and prevents that from happening. I was looking close for a minute. And that's a fifth stack of armor back, dude. That's quite a lot to have yeah, this early on. Yeah, that is a decent amount of armor. That free armor there. Yeah, I mean it's it's five stacks, right? So he levels up the uh, culling blade now and gets another two armor on top of what he already had. So he's mm. yeah, sitting pretty good. And you like armor this game against Night Stalker and uh, Faceless Void. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what that. what kills you apart from that? Unless you really comboed in with that maledict. I mean, even I mean, it's a physical death ward too. So yeah, armor. Yep. No, exactly. It's really great this game. Yeah. I mean, as the as the game goes on, I feel like a lot of Void Samus transitions to, like, Pine Lock and the uh, Maelstrom, so there's, mm. like, a lot of mixed damage there, but... I'm gonna get a Blade Mouse soon as well, he'll have that momentarily. Yeah. As you said, I think Axe is only really worried about Ooh. Finality. Breaking, aggressively jumping forward. He's doing this to confirm that he can get this tower here, this is really good. Yes, yeah, tower will away. go down. Axe, Axe actually, with the, yeah, with the call. Gets the Witch Doctor involved. Jakira, nice slow onto two there. And this Witch Doctor probably oh, gonna oh. tick down. Does the Voodoo Switcheroo to kind of prevent him dying instantly. But there's another stack onto the uh, Culling Blade there. Wraith King with a blink and a radiance. You know, he is it. He does have another life. So I don't mind this aggression here. He's getting them to follow him. He needs to connect with his team though. He's got the bots, dude. He just drove by the mid he blinks forward. And... Oh God. He blinked forward and he's actually baited that this is all a part of his plan as he's baited the snapfire and snapfire goes in <laughs> uh, that was kind of goofy yeah Ray right, yeah, King with the bots and all the movements in the world just giving people the oh, drive he does have like bots Chris. as well holy crap <laughs> yeah. I can't believe he just drive by I don't the remember when he had him yes yeah, slaps puck on the way through and tell me how uh, it works out for him middle tower has fallen there's no way they got high ground here. This Surely is, yeah, no, nah, I don't know. This uh, TEG looking pretty good this game. They gotta be careful. Though, if they wanna breach high ground this early, I mean, they'll make them force out a uh, fortification. This should be I some mean, decent damage here as he jumps forward. Crit one, ax as well to call. That's one dead hero there. Void Spirit, pretty good Chrono, but he gets into the stun from the Jakira. Nice combo with the the um snap fire as well nice stalker in the back lines gets a nice kill and a pretty good combo for radiant as it looks like dire they're running out of juices here but raking has another life and no they will turn around they do have enough juice in the tank as he's still alive on wraith king this is a dead snap to fire. The come back. Yeah. Oh, i don't know i don't know about diving this much this puck might be able to clean up a few heroes here this might have been I mean, a mistake. I think Night Stalker should buy it back and TP behind them. They're gonna back yeah, off now. The ball play. I mean, um, that's uh, 
Maybe a little bit uh, ambitious from Teg to try that, right? It feels like you kind of want that uh, XO to go on a Roche so you can yeah, you know, I mean... close out the map a bit more. The flight works out well for them, but it's yeah, it's it's very ambitious to try and go high ground there. I think I think I don't know. You're like the the goal was to get objectives, but they got gold instead, which isn't necessarily yeah. a loss, but it's I if I don't know, I'm not really happy with I wouldn't be too happy with that XO usage. Like it just didn't yeah, get used exactly. properly. Yeah, you don't you don't want to flame, but like you you wouldn't really see a, a higher skill team go for that sort of play, right? They'd be going to the Roche. Oh, I think I think they may. Yeah, obviously Roche would be the better option. But if they were going to do this, Axe is in a bit of trouble. Fresh blade mail though, preventing him from. Yeah, you'll go down. I think maybe they they use it, but they just kind of this tower would be more dead instead of doing this chase down here to the snapfire, right? Yeah, it's a little bit crazy. I mean. Void is just on struggle what is, street. What is Roshan he, doing? Okay. He ran near the stairs. Uh, who's who, which of his neighbors is making loud noises? Yeah. Yeah, they're in your Void in a pretty weird spot to be in. Um, under the enemy outpost now. They've grabbed it and he's going to use time warp. Going to be cut off a little bit. He has another one in two seconds. He's not going to be able to do it in time. He does actually slightly, but now CM four staff vision revealed. They're all around him. He's got to get out. He's got to get out of there. He jumps up there, TP out. Oh my god, great really play. good TP. Great play. That was that was looking pretty hairy. BKB he committed dead. from the DP there. Yeah, that's that's an ambitious BKB. I can't believe we got out of that. Really, yeah. really nice job good to dodge. get out of that one. <laughs> Axe, uh, Axe, they're on out the uh, the ankle breaker joke. In, yeah, uh, in chat too. And I mean that's well deserved. Honestly, great, uh, great juice by Void to stay alive there. But, uh, well, I mean, it's pretty hairy for different. him. He's getting shard. Okay, yeah, no, that's yeah. fine. He needs shard. I totally thought yeah, it was a different I mean, hero for a minute. I was like, he's getting shard. I'm like thinking, I was thinking it was like a different hero. <laughs> like what? He oh, needs something fun. to keep him alive. He's dying in his own Kronos. I've I've seen him hit two Kronos this game, and he's died in both of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we we saw like it work out. Kind of the puck damage got thrown in, and the Snapfire mm. Mordmer kisses got thrown in, and. Like the chrono yeah, looked good, but not because committed. of void. Steepy's she's using a top. I guess it just ran out of thing. They're doing a pretty big wrap around here on Radiant as they're showing their Night Stalker mid with a fresh BKB. By the way, I'm pretty sure. Yep. DB. This DB Wraith King. This is what this Wraith King pick is really good for, right? If that was any other core, he'd be dead there. But you just can't really commit to him. Ace rune. They're going for the Roshan, the little skelly boys. Axe is there as well. I don't know if Radiant know this. They might commit another smoke for it. Yeah, I think they do know, actually. They've got a pretty decent Roche fighting team on their side. Snapfire giving a bit of vision with the Mortimer Kisses. Here comes Night Stalker. No BKB committed yet. And good ulti from the Puck holding too, as the both supports from Dyer are dead. And now they're just going to try to kite out the DP. Witch Doctor dies as well. CM with a nice buyback. Axe gone. Raytheon kind of getting kited a little bit here, but he's pretty low, so these three are going to dogpile on top of him. DP, they're chasing this Puck, and Puck's causing a bit of trouble for them as now Wraith King going to go down again, and it's looking pretty good for Radiant as they kited the Wraith King and managed to get Puck to uh, hold the other teammates nearby. Puck. CM getting right-click down, and now... DP, she's quite tanky with that Octarine core, but she'll probably get casted soon or so stunned soon and held down. She goes. That's a buyback on Sam. That was actually really good. So they just kited Wraith King here, right? And Puck managed to get DP um, and another hero, I can't remember who, to just chase him this way. Just ripping the fight apart. Went into their favor. The Wraith King was kind of useless. As they'll now take this rush. Fully own that fight. Like, it was disgusting how much work they put in in that fight. And they get the Aegis. They actually give the Aegis the Riz. It's going to allow them to be very, very aggressive. And the supports from Dyer have no answers for the, the BKB. Duh. Yeah, I mean, they've got two four staffs on them, but only, I mean, one's now. I, I really hope they get a Ghost Scepter. Yeah, but it's four staff against Night Stalker. Like, it gets you out of the silence, but. It's Night Stalker, so he just immediately gets back on top of you unless you can yeah. instantly, right? So, yeah. yeah. 
so I know it looks so rough. They they just did so much work. Like it was it was exactly the way you want to see it play. Like they went in, yeah. like they landed a nice coil. Riz killed the hero. They sort of went opposite directions, waited for there to be another opportunity, and just went back in with the second round of spells. And Duck in a the only and... hero who could tank through it was DP and Rating, but they were left alone at the end of the day. So, yeah. I mean that's that's what Charizard right back in it, right? They didn't even chrono for that fight, and they got a die back from one of their yeah. heroes. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That, that feels really good. You'll smoke up straight there. away. It's DP though. Mm. Let's see who they can grab here. They're gonna run up to the high ground. Oh, Axe actually that aggressively jumps onto the void and they might be able to get the kill on this void. No, he runs away and jumps away. So, oh, Puck actually blinks in towards the uh, stun. He's silenced again and he's in a bit of trouble. DP almost kills him, but he gets out. Nice dog of BKB committed. Jakira goes down. It's all looking terrible for, for Tag as both supports and Axe are gone. Yeah. And he uh, still Riz... hasn't used B uh, Chrono. No, and Riz just blinked in with the BKB and they can't stop him. They, they cannot stop him. He just beats down a hero. Yeah. They're looking for DP here too. They might try and kill DP top. No, I'm gonna turn around. Oh, she's her, her um ulties ran out too. Yeah. Void still has Chrono, like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he still has it. It's insane. Dyer's middle tower. Like what do you do? Aegis is still up for three minutes. How do you defend your racks here? You have no edge, so. though. They're quite lucky that they've got a bit of a push going bottom and racing with a few charges to his spirits. He's not gonna pop him off though. He's actually gonna go back first. He should have used him. Yeah, what? What are we keeping for the fight, right? Yeah, him coming, but oh no, DP. She's she so got speedy. that whip, but Puck has ulti, does land on her and hits it with her, so she can be can be pulled out. As she will do that, so prevents them from approaching their axe at least. Not yeah, too good, bad. good. And now really bottom, good math movement, honestly, by take yeah. to to send heroes top and bottom to pressure the other yeah. lane so that you keep your base alive. So not great work by them. The jungle has but bottom lane has to be addressed soon. Yeah, it's it's looking so worrying for Tank. The last two fights have been a disaster for them. And mm. what changes? How do you deal with this Night Stalker? They um, like I said in the draft, it, it's really coming down to the initiation. It, yeah. it feels like if Tank start a fight and they go on Night Stalker and he can't harass the supports, then there's options for them to play the game, but. If Nice Looker gets the play at his pace, the supports from Tag just die. Did you get a screenshot of the first game? I forgot to. Uh, not the first game. Ah, no, uh, I need to remember what here is or what. Uh, that's right. We can see in the. I can even tell you. Uh, good, good. I have the uh, the Dota buff. Uh, uh, maybe screenshot the heroes and put them in a the chat. We can talk about it. Refresh my memory. I like Wraith King pressuring these other lanes. They're gonna throw down the um, Jakira ulti. But the tower's already gone. Nice Dogger jumps in. BKB ready. Doesn't quite use it yet. He does use it now. And Jakira, CM, they've used their four staffs already. He might need to back off now, however. In the tree lines, nice dodges. Chronosphere lands onto two as well. And the Witch Doctor. The Maledic, the ulti from him, DP being the one survivor with a soul, but that's actually not enough to even survive this one. She's just so goes down. Meanwhile, hey, nice Riz, but he's got Aegis. Yeah, he does have Aegis. He'll come back again. Doctor, the burn damage from the Wraith King will eventually take him out. No stuns yet. They do have a stun for the Night Stalker too. Wraith King still chasing down this uh, snap fire here, but they're not. They haven't actually got any racks here, so. Not too bad of a defense, but they, they did commit two buybacks for it. I, said good night, stalker. I, think, I think two buybacks is okay. But he's pulling to this trick wave maybe to try to find yeah, it. Yeah, he's, he's looking he is, for boys. He, 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 him him he sees him on the ward. I don't know. He's got no teammates, Nothing. though. That's the problem. Yeah, Void's going to make the long track back, though. Yeah, it is a long track back, but I think he should be fine. Should he? Axe is coming in. If he farms right, here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. No. I was going to say, if he starts farming here, careful. But two buybacks there. Gold pretty evenly split, but yeah. Even Axe bought back as well. Not he's prevented him from um having enough of the BKB. Yeah, I mean it was the necessary buyback though, right? Like without yeah. that buyback, there's no way they kill Night Stalker again, so 
definitely necessary to defend, defend the base. And yeah, again, you you see that like everybody from Teg has to deal with Night Stalker if he blinks in. Everybody yeah. from their team. Yeah. And it allows Void to find a good chrono and Snapfire just gets to play her game and throw kisses and Night Stalker is just making so much room in these fights for his team to play the way that they want to. So it's uh, it's tough. If Teg can find the confidence to make a smoke play and make their own aggressive moves, I think it'll really work out nicely for them. What Wraith King's gonna buy with 4k gold? Mm, sure you just get yeah. Basher, right? Yeah, you have to buy a Bizzle, surely. It's just about the only thing that might stop Night Stalker. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna get a Heaven's Halberd instead. I don't know about that. CM, uh, just CM Invasion's does okay. I think you just get Basher. I think Heaven's Halberd is just gonna make you too... Like, it's something that maybe Axe should get instead. You don't necessarily like having it on your core. On your win condition, I think. I mean, would you consider him the win condition? I'm not sure, actually. He's bought yeah. straight up, so... I mean, so the cool thing about it is he has Radiance already, right? So he, with the Heaven's Halberd, he has 43% evasion, plus the 15% miss from Radiance. Yeah. And that. So but, I mean, Void and Night Sword are going to struggle to just hit him. But that's the, so, that's I mean, the problem, though. They, they ignore him. That's what I was saying before. I haven't really seen them go hit that Wraith King this entire game. I've seen them ignore him and go for the other heroes. They've yeah, like, established yeah, that. Yeah, and you, right, you let's, can't really... We'll find out. We'll find out how useful it is. All it takes is one fight for it to be used, and you know, it to pay off. And it looks so like we're gonna we're gonna have one. that exact fight as both teams are gonna collide here. Night Stalker, ulti, fear used, BKB not popped yet. Does pop it finally, forcing the axe to BKB as well. Death Prophet getting lava on as well, but she's got her own BKB. This Void got stunned by the axe, and Void goes down. So Trakira for Void. The physical damage from the uh, Death Prophet as well doing a lot. As now CM committing her ulti, it's looking pretty good for Dyer right now. As that's a dunk on him. And it all it was mainly because Void got called by Axe. Void didn't press BKB, he timed walked straight into an ice spot and the call and followed then up and they just had the damage to kill him. Regardless yeah. if he BKB'd there would have pierced it, but I mean maybe it would have let him live. Oh he would have got the chrono off if he BKB'd. Alright. He, he time walked in the chrono DP, but unfortunately went straight into an ice spot. So. Yeah. Fly back yeah, from the really Sapphire. Cool. So the first rack's going down, all of a sudden is the pendulum swung and it's in Dyer's favor. There's no exorcism, but it looks like they're gonna need it with these right clicks. The creeps are still in the they need to kill these creeps quickly. It's allowing them to take this. Well the glyph should be enough to hold it. Void's yeah. gonna respawn and they know he still has chrono, so yeah. probably gonna have to back off here. Now they have to actually defend because Puck. There's a dent in the armor of uh, the top lane here. Two siege creeps. This is certainly going to be some building going down. Top yeah, the, the range tracks. The range tracks just Dyer's gets bullied. Yeah, oh, they're, this, glyph uh, they're glyphing. Riz has okay, stopped the TP so... as well. Oh, right, yeah. Axe in a bit of trouble with still that level Wraith one siege on Oh, they commit the BKB for it. Oh, Wraith King. Bit of miscoms there. you got to be careful. He's got a Night Stalker and a Puck chasing him down. Uh, haste room, oh, that, oh, he's got the, the haste ulti. Might just save him. He's got the ulti from Puck. He went. Oh, he went north instead. Oh, that was close. No, I, can't, I can't believe Raytheon got away with that. To yeah. be honest, I, I can't believe. Oh, he's it. even he's blinking. Good. What is he doing? Oh my god. He's gone back to farm. <laughs> Alright, my man. So ambitious of him. Yeah, you, you see them hitting your tier one. You are not hitting me. Like he has no friends with him. I, I feel like they should have been up here. Like one hero comes up here to. Hold this spot while the others push. Oh yeah, yeah. Chrono's still up. Yeah, the the Chrono's been the real uh real uh, I want to say the thing that hasn't connected, but he's gonna find Raking here. He is gonna find him. Um, I don't know. This Raking is super confident and I think it's paying off. I don't know. They're thinking, is there people with him? I, I, surely not. He's got that. He's got even more evasion on that Trickster's Cloak. No, wait, how much does he have now? It, it only adds 3% because of the way it works. So yeah. It's really not quite that good. It does give magic resist, I guess, but mm. yeah, the evasion on top of all the other evasion stacking isn't great, but... Refresher, uh, Night Stalker. Yeah, he was, he was trying. He didn't have the money for it. Yeah, he's about halfway there. But I think surely you want to say buyback with the game state. Let's get out of Roshan. Oh, 
I, uh, I just read Reaver uh, flaming me in the Twitch chat, it's fine. That's not him flaming you, that's him just saying that they missed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, not a flame they, on you. No, 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 they're like, look what we got stuck with. That was what he meant. Oh, that's sure. not. Uh, <laughs> Roshan. Brady gonna dip their toes into the cave. They do this fairly slowly, though. Uh, neg armor. Yeah, not quite a lot there, so... But I think Dyer are a little bit too far away. I do notice it. Yeah, they're not gonna make it in time. Though. It's already too late. EP's still bottom. I might be able to get this... Uh, taking a while to come back. Yeah, it's it's so slow. Axe might it make this. It is really slow, but uh, he's got no one with him. That's the problem. He goes in alone like this, and now... He can't even get anything off. BKBs, but he gets bashed, so... For what? He needs to make sure his team's with him. Uh, DP did a good job of pushing that bottom lane. No objectives to take in the bottom lane, however. But it will certainly force someone to come back. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Miscommunication there from Axe. Yeah, make some space and uh, slot down Axe. No buyback. Oh, DP, uh-oh. Oh, no. That blink dagger. Oh, they're actually not going to get... Look at this. Tier 4 is going to take a bit of damage as well. Uh, yeah, so there's some amount of creep waves too. coming in. Does anyone? They have boots of travel on a few heroes. Oh, this Wraith uh, King bought an overwhelming blink instead of having buyback. Ooh, that's... Oh no. Oh that's no. Perfect. I think you really need Basher this game, dude. Yeah, yeah. That is I mean, such... And... I don't know if this might be a game... Um, I don't know. This might be a game in here. He's got no buyback. Yeah. If Wraith King dies, the, the game... It's a lot of down, gold right? for that item. I really don't yeah. like it when people buy this. It's really not worth it. Chrono? Chrono doesn't quite land on the heroes you want. Goes on to the DP and the DP being tanky enough and yeah. he actually dies here. And that's a BKB use. So they can set up an ice path maybe in one more second or a stun of some sort there. That's plenty of stun as the void goes down. Oh my and God. And now Radiant on the back foot. I think if... <laughs> Look at this bottom area still. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. One here pulls out. Um... Yeah, okay. Oh, the, the Chronos just haven't hit this game, right? No, it's, it's been a bit rough. I've seen him, I've seen him Chrono three times now, and he's died in every single one. Well, as a result oh, of most of them, my, yeah. Yeah, my poor, my poor man. There's just... There's so much that they can throw around, right? With the ice path, with the... But now uh, they know there's no Chrono. Even him buying back now means nothing. Yeah. Like, they yeah. should feel pretty good, and they do, as this Wraith King and his wee little babies come in. DP's so I mean, far away, but Wraith King's just bullying yeah, down some buildings. DP can probably... Yeah, Got bots, got, but yeah. the creep wave was a long way away, so... Yeah. Night Stalker positioning himself with a smoke in the back lines. These supports have got to be careful here. As Wraith King causing him to mayhem here. Puck gonna get called by the axe, I reckon. Oh, does manage to get the silence off, and here comes the... Here comes the Night Stalker. Puck does go down, but Night Stalker in the back now. BKB committed for these supports. CM, Invis, does go down. So he manages to get one. He will back off. He's gonna think about poking and prodding. This is the power of this hero, being able to give a lot of positioning, a lot of uh, vision as well. Puck's brought back, I think. So is CM. Void, no chrono, but he might not need it as he's right clicking away as Axe does get a dunk off on the Doctor. DP finally has an ulti off cooldown. Puck, gotta be careful now. Since he did almost die back then, Stalker goes back on him. It's looking dire favor though. Two Radiant Heroes, three Radiant Heroes are dead. And the Rax is still exposed and still getting right clicked down. Raking is straight on the buildings. Again. Yeah, yeah he's like, like, let's go. I think Void chased him and with the evasion and... There's the two buybacks, but... Here comes Blythe, but that'll just turn around. in four seconds. He jumps forward aggressively. Uh-oh, this Witch Doctor. Disarm on the arms um, on the Night Stalker, which Doctor does make it out in time. They can save this. They just got to get a really good Chrono. This Chrono needs to be worth it. And Night Stalker, he's going to jump forward to try to get his get this Chrono to be a good one. He doesn't have BKB, so he's got to be positioning himself be cool. really well. As oh. Axe, okay, blink cancelled on Axe. Here comes the Chrono. It's on to three. It's really good. Jakiro, the evasion misses. He only manages to get one. He's no disarmed. Damage. He got disarmed as well mid chrono as he's in trouble. It looks like Wraith King Blink 4 got the Heaven's Halberd on him. Axe, Blink, Core, misses on the puck. 
Nice Stalker's got to back out. Witch Doctor, can he get a godlike cask in a second? Nope, he's going to get right click down and he goes down. And it's looking all TG. This game is. The Radiant Ancient is exposed. Snap buys back. Mortimer's kisses. Might kick that back door. No, uh, creeps, in bottom yeah, creeps as well. are in bottom as well. And it's a it's a sad way to watch it go down as this death profit ulti will most certainly confirm a one yeah. for one game here. Is T Zero a take one both games? Oh, do they? Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah, take take one both games. They did win both games. Take. Yeah, good good game, well played from both teams. Honestly, uh, what a what a fantastic series to watch, right? Um, Charizard lost both games, but I mean they looked good, like. There was a segment of play there where I really thought they were going to win the game. Yeah. I thought they had turned it around. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, Voyage is not able to find entry into the game, I think. It's so. hard. He couldn't get these Chronos on these supports and kill them enough. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I mean, you don't want to Chrono DP because she's got a lot of health. And if she's got the Exo going, we saw he just died to it. You don't want to Chrono uh, Axe because you don't want to hit him. Uh, he'll just spin, and then you don't want to Chrono Wraith King because he's just going to respawn. So, I mean, who do you Chrono? The the two supports that Nightstalker's get... already killed. Yeah, the other, the only two apart from Wraith King that you can probably go on if if your Witch Doctor mal manages to get a, a Maledict on him, but like they just couldn't really get close. It's just too yeah, much because need... the DP ulti would just be shoveling around them as well. It's kind of hard to get close to it. Um, no, really good series though. That was fun to watch for sure. Um, I'll just yeah. see if anyone wants to join from TEG. Uh... Oh, you got in there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd be, I'd be uh, ra raced on in there. Sorry, I thought you were going to type in the uh, match vote in Discord. Oh, uh, I can do that too. <laughs> I'm screenshot this one. Yeah, sorry, I, uh, <clears throat> oh, you I got missed the, first... the screenshot. Yeah, I, so, yeah. I sent you uh, the hero. It doesn't tell you who played what, but I can tell you. I remember. Oh yeah, nice, nice. <clears throat> um, what's going on? Should be this game. Uh, hey, I'll uh, I'll abandon you for a second. Jump down in there, uh, chat and convince someone to come talk to us. All right, all right. I got a mic. All right, we're trying to get someone to chat if they want to chat. So, um, no, that was fun to watch though. Definitely, <clears throat> I'll just have the thing up. One dude talk. Uh, one dude playing without a mic. What the hell? See what uh, what killer drags down here. Speaking uh, of have... which, hello, hello. Ah, oh, hello. How you going, man? Good, good. How are you? Yeah, good, dude. Good. Uh, good wins. Good wins. You feeling good? Feeling very good. Yeah. That Compared was... to the last game we played. Um, yeah. yeah we definitely stepped it up a bit. Oh, certainly uh, did. Yeah. That no, and... was good. You know, the especially the mid game. I, I reckon our team came well. Really, like, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I think uh, that game just that we just watched then was. Um... Well, I'm just looking at the score. It was both games. I think were pretty, pretty even kind of bloodbath thing going on. But um, that one certainly had a lot of kills. Uh, more in the mid to later game. Um, I really. I was telling my team, I, I, I was actually getting a little bored towards the end, and I kept saying, "I'm like, <laughs> let's just run at them. You know, there's nothing they can really do." And then, unfortunately, we lost that fight, and they got Roche, and a bit of a swing there. Oh yeah! Oh, that, oh, speaking of Roche, that was the long, the first Roche. Was that the first game or second game, Killer? In the first game, yeah, yeah. yeah that game was the longest Roche, Roche engagement <laughs> yeah. ever. Just back we and were waiting, forth. We were waiting on my healing ward because I used it at the start, and that was when mm. the enemy showed up, and we were like, you know, play it slow, play it oh, slow. Oh right. I had yep. about, yeah, I had about twenty seconds left on healing ward, and I was like, just wait for healing ward again, and then, yeah, luckily we um, we came out with a win in both games, so. No, it was really good. I think I was just on the note of game one, we'll just say I liked your lineup better because um, I think both team, both lineups in both games were kind of like, uh, I wouldn't say one just outweighed the other, but I, I think they had their win condition of Slark, right? And then you know, Slark was their win condition. 
Um, and then you guys kind of had a bit of a more of an all-rounder kind of thing going on where Tide and the rest of you guys could totally just kind of stop him in his tracks, I guess. Um, yeah, well, so that we was had pretty Cor good. We had Corbin pick, like, he wanted to go Tide, and we were trying to decide what sort of carry to pick. And that was when, um, I think it was our mid Lich Please, he, um, he mentioned I should go Jug just because it like deflects the homing missile and makes offlane a little bit easier. And we managed to get a bit more space for CM to rotate and it sort yeah. of made the early game in that game a little bit better for us, I like to think. But yeah, so, I mean, the enemy team, bro, they were, they, were, they were good, you know, like credit where credit's due. I mean, I know I was a little bit, maybe a little bit toxic in that second game. I was a little bit tilted when I was getting tipped a lot, but... Um... I don't think you said anything too bad. <laughs> No, I just, I think I said it was easy. And nah, it's fine, whatever. Something like that, but, yeah. I think that's okay. I, um, I ruffled a teammate's feather in that game, so I've got to take a little bit of a step back, I think. And Oh, in that, pre that game just then? Yeah, I was just, like, because I was, I was pretty tilted. <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, you guys, yeah. you guys brought it back. I mean, to be Good fair, luck. I feel real bad for your supports that game. They were uh, sitting ducks a little bit. They made the Night Stalker work for it, but I'm just looking at how many deaths they had. Kind of rough I, and demoralizing. Not, that was why I bought the Halberd, because I was thinking of Abyssal or Halberd, and with the Halberd, I could actually manage to get to the um, Night Stalker, because he's so fast. Yeah, that's um, a fair point, yeah. But yeah, towards the end there, I think we just got a bit lucky, and yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. No, I was I was saying it in the cast. It really felt like in the the second game, whichever team took the initiative to start a fight was gonna have the better time of it. And uh, we saw when like Riz on the Night Stalker jumped in and Kimmy on the Puck jumped in. You guys really struggled to deal with it. Like your cores were fine, but your supports would just die straight away. Mm. And then yeah. as soon as as soon as you made that change and you know started trying to start the fights yourself, I think it really uh really swung back to you guys. So. Yeah, we um we sort of left him in the dirt a little bit. I think <laughs> yeah. I know as I know Corbin loves to blink in. I myself love to blink in, and um yeah, I think uh, Death Prophet he followed up really well as well. And yeah, a few times we might have left our um supports behind, but you know that is support life, I suppose. Yeah. Sacrifice yeah. will be remembered <laughs> in the post game screen, right? A, a roaming ward, really. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, you say that they uh they went hard game one. There was uh, a period yeah, in game one. <laughs> Yeah, you had 16 kills on the board and your support yeah. duos had 14 of them. Actually, so. I'm looking right now. I'm looking right now and it's, it's yeah, it's 11 kills to the Snapfire, 10 kills to the CM in the last game. So it's only fair this game, you, you know, it pedaled back the other way. They all just died. They just died that many times. <laughs> yeah, so. no, that, it was lucky. Like um, SG, he loves Snap. And I noticed, you know, in the second game straight away, they, they banned him first phase. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, so. they, yeah, they pick, they count, they just pick him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off, yeah. Um, yeah. I thought Jakira. I thought Jakira Axe was a pretty fun lane. Double slows and ticking damage against Void. He kind of had a bit of a rougher time, and Witch Doctor couldn't really help him, right? Yeah. Well, we were deciding with um, either Nyx or Jakira, and I think the range on Jakira just sort of helped. Um, yeah, yeah, and I think um, we didn't even know. Like we were so engrossed in top lane, and um corbin said like oh i just killed two of them bottom lane and he killed witch doctor yeah and yeah there was that moment Polo. that was great and then i think there was a little bit of a throw <laughs> sort of in the mid game there oh well, that time where yeah look we were a bit worried because there was that like, one time that you committed exorcism and you you guys pushed the mid tier like you pushed the mid tower like and you were going to get racks or something or you were going to go for racks but it seemed a little bit early it seemed a little bit early to do it and then you went and dove a little bit and it ended up not going so well because I, yeah, you'll buy their tier fours or something. Yeah, I think um, the exorcism. Corbin, Corbin, unfortunately tonight he couldn't have his mic on, so um, yeah, he, he went back. He bought back and blinked in, and we didn't know, and he actually like died back. All right, uh, and that's that big swing back in the graph. So after that, we we gave the you know a little bit more respect to the team, and we slowed it down a little bit, and mm -hmm. yeah, we just played it smart, and yeah, we were pretty lucky, so. But now we're looking forward to the next game and yeah. Yeah, That's well it. on the on the little note there, um I'll just let's have a look at your Wraith King build. Um Oh yeah, that's right. I was saying, yeah, really like the Radiance Assault Kiros, but I and this later on in the game, um here's just something for you. 
um were you really you, you didn't have buyback because of it but i guess you were feeling really confident just straight up upgrading uh, that that blink right i didn't yeah and I, at, at one point i realized i didn't i actually didn't even buy shard on the hero at one point i realized yeah. i didn't have enough mana but i just i think i only died um yeah only died three, three times. times but towards the end like yeah i didn't even expel my ulti and it was just mm. like that's why i didn't buy bkb either i was like yeah the only real problem was void and that was why we picked wraith king was you know just as soon as he picked faces void we were like you know wraith king's a great counter yeah and i i actually don't even know if i got chrono um yeah but, you really wouldn't yeah. want to you know most of the time yeah but yeah i was just yeah no it was a yeah pretty good build uh heaven's halberd pretty interesting but it did work out i think there was one moment where i'm not sure if it saved but you did use it in that middle last fight briefly i think as void was hitting someone yeah um, I, tried, I tried to get him when he was in the chrono yeah you did it i think I you did it. it you blinked forward and got it um and he was smacking at somebody so no nah, good good plays decent amount of evasion there so yeah he wasn't going to try to hit you at all um no nah, it was a uh, good place by you guys uh good good job for charizard actually as well they played really well uh they didn't make it easy right so no they played they played very well you know they're, they're a hard team and you know look forward to playing them again hopefully and yeah. We'll see what happens. So, um, last thing then, you've rustled, you've ruffled some feathers. How are you gonna de-ruffle them? What's your thing? You got chocolates for someone, or what are you gonna do? Without uh, going into yeah. too much about how, but what are you gonna do to make <laughs> it up to them on stream right uh, now? You have to say. <laughs> I was gonna say I got some leftover Easter eggs somewhere, but no, I was actually I don't really know how to use the Discord, and I um I got a mention by one of the team. I think it was anonymous, so I was gonna reply and say, you know. It was just a bit of harmless banter and you know nothing by it so but no they were they were a great team to play and and yeah i look forward to hopefully uh rematch in the future hell yeah for sure well i appreciate you coming in and chatting with us killer did you want to say anything or ask anything or no no man you you pretty much got it covered uh, no, yeah. that sounded like you got a no yeah. fuck that guy yeah. i don't want to talk yeah. to him at all <laughs> like, no no like, get out of here dude. i'm done no no uh <laughs> great games from both teams honestly um another minor league set where it's so entertaining to watch and yeah um charizard they didn't get a win today but they looked pretty good honestly yeah. so um yeah so it was a pleasure to watch the series thanks for uh thanks for playing guys i hope you had uh had, i just want to give you guys a shout out man thank you for the hosting and everything it's it's um yeah yeah, sorry for not knowing how to do it. I kind of uh... yeah, we're uh, we, we, we knew it's uh, it's day one. This is my first day. Great, <laughs> <laughs> uh, manage it. What's in the um? You got you got vlogs. You're gonna have like yeah, the vod auto uh, uploads, bro. So it'll be up there. Yeah, um, yeah. And yeah be able to watch you can also gameplay. you can also catch them on YouTube too if you want. Are they on Perfect. YouTube? Uh they will be. They're not. They're on there now, but they will be. Oh, okay. Is that my is that my responsibility? <laughs> no. Well, oh, good. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go feed some pubs. Alrighty, yeah. man. Thanks for chatting Thanks with for us. Thanks for playing tonight. Yeah. Guys. Great game. See ya. See ya. All right, that's that, eh? Killer. Anything you want to say before I say goodbye to the people? No, man. No, that's fucking up. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I think see you tomorrow night. Yes. I want to say yeah. yes. There's a game tomorrow night. What's happening tomorrow night? Let's find out. Uh, it's intermediate league. Intermediate Flying league. Ooh, hell yeah. That's yeah, that's second third place match, right? Winner uh, goes to the finals to yep. face the undefeated AGN, and loser is third place. Yeah, that's right. So that's a bit of a juicy one, and uh, ending sweet. Yeah, and then we got another one that might be happening on the twenty second. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a couple of games confirmed between now and then. So yeah, definitely. So um, yeah, once again, thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, hope you're doing. Hope you've had a fun time. Thanks, Killer. I'll probably talk to you again soon. I'll say goodbye to the people. Yeah. Yeah, no worries, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, streaming tonight. It was great. I much preferred it over me streaming. <laughs> no, no problem, man. No problem. Have a good night, everyone. Yeah, see you, killer. Um, cool beans, cool beans. That's one. That's another series down. Another one for the books. Wow, wow, we were. Uh, I was a little bit 